Crazy on here playing Thinking with Time Machine. Um, Portal 2 mod, if you can't tell, adds a really cool new mechanic Time Machine. So not only you think with portals, now you think with Time Machine. Um, I played with it here and there a bit, considering that it's a, it's a Steam Greenlit thing, it's a bit unstable, and it crashes while I'm recording, like constantly, all the goddamn time. It makes it hard to record with, but uh, you know, we'll manage. So. I guess it's not a first playthrough, it's just kind of a, a run through. I mean, it might be kind of like a walkthrough if you have a hard time. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's whatever it has to be. But, um, I'm gonna play this game. And it's actually quite fun. Uh, I haven't reached the ending yet, but, uh, you know, only time will tell. It, uh, picks up right at the ending of Portal 2, if you can't tell. Although, since it's not an official mod, it's, or it's not by Valve, it's, it shouldn't be considered canon. Cube! I love you, Cube! I have hand. That bandage on her reminds me of when Nibbler bit Leela. Ah! Everything I know is a lie! My escape! The cake! No! No! Oh, cool. I have battlefield legs. Thank you, EA and DICE. Oh wait, this is Valve. Never mind, I was thinking of, uh, of, uh, Mare's Edge. Because Faith had legs. It's not cold out here? When I, when, when I think to, to, you know, wear this jacket around me, or this jumpsuit? Tap dance. So yes, that wasn't actually our escape. We were actually inside of a chamber. Of an old school and richer chamber. But here's where things start getting fun. You know, what's with being a subject trapped in here for eternity if you don't have your tools? And here's where the tools come in. Now, you, you can tell by the icon in the upper right there, not only you get portals, but you get an hourglass. Which is time. So, without further ado, I give you tools of trade. Our portal gun. And an iPad! Yeah! Basically, you need... Basically, this uh, mod uses... See? A lot of new, uh... A lot of new models, new textures, stuff like that. I mean, even the app... Even the, uh, portal device is a bit, uh... Old-looking. But also another mechanic. See, watch. They don't have a lot of portable surfaces in this mod, quite frankly. But, you know, there's a reason. And, oh, look. I need... Something to hold this button and op to open that door, but I have an iPad which has an app for that to allow me to open the door. See, basically, I re I went to Back to the Future, took their took their uh, the faceplate for the time machine, and took it right here and put it here. So now, basically, the basic additions to the keys, obviously left and right mouse button for the portal gun, is uh, R, Q, and F. R is to record, and then. Q is to stop recording, and F is to play. And look at that. There's me, in the past, opening the door for the future. Oh! You bitch! Okay, so there's me from the past. I should not- in I don't think I should interact with myself to cause any sort of paradox or any time-breaking universe thing. But, here's the thing. A la Source Engine, you can use other models as stepladders, as proven by this screen up here. The television screen that's really good at uh, teaching you things. So you hit record on your iPad with a pretty stellar uh, productive case. Then you crouch. Then you stand. It's midnight 14, huh? And then you and then you hit stop. So you press play. Look at you. Look at me. I mean, look at those heel springs. Who needs who needs trendy stilettos? Oh yeah, and you can also see what your character saw at that exact moment when you were recording. It's it's really cool. So it gives you an idea of uh, where your person's gonna be, and that's actually quite important real soon. Now, she is really tall. Cause look, it's like, oh look, I got a uh, oh oh look at that. Really tall. But this is good. Playing with time machines. It's gonna it's gonna cause a really big uh difference or a big effect on uh, gameplay here. So watch. For example, we need to press this button and that box to open the door. 
We have an emancipation girl right here. I wonder why. So we hit this button. Timer on the floor. New box assimilation and laser grid, which will kill us. So I pick this up. We need that. And that opens the door. But now how do we do that? Along with that, the timer runs out. Emancipation grill guillotines the uh the box, even though it seems like it would have clearance. So what do we do? Consult our iPad. Record. Walk. Hit the button. Watch. Watch the box. Pick it up. Drop it. Stand on it. And wait. Pretty much ostensibly wait until the uh, the timer runs out. And then we're done recording. So now I hit play. And watch you back in time. Look at me. And it even shows little, little badges to let you know when stuff's going to occur and when it's going to happen. So it's all about um, having a grasp of what you're supposed to be doing. For some reason, the elevator would not commit. Alright, so here's where it gets tricky. Now you get light bridges. So basically, when you hit the record button, it resets your portals. But it allows you to... Uh, it allows you to uh, use them still. Because you in the past is going to be able to use them. So now I hit stop. Hit play. Hello past me. Light bridge. Alright, thank you. Yoink. Yay! So see, simple as that. Using time machines to not break the time space continuum. Especially if you're playing with portals. So not only can you end up in different places, you can also, you know, travel different places. Here's our first instances, or one of the first major instances of using portals again. So now we have a box. What we can do is use the box to jump up. Okay, I guess I can't use the box to jump up there. Okay, so what we can do is record, then uh, pick up, then put the box down. Then stand, and look at that. Now you've made it to the top. So now hit play. Oh no wait, the box ain't there. Let's put it back for her to pick up. There you go. Nope. I just stole something from myself in the past. Holy crap. Basically my idea was instead of using using myself as a stepladder, I still use her as a stepladder. Oh, you're a bitch, you know that? So hop on this. Hop on me. Oh wait, I guess I can't hop on me. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to record, crouch, hop on top of me, and then stand up. So I guess I guess they created a way for you not to use as a workaround. Use yourself as a stepladder after the fact. Wow. I was getting I was getting too overzealous. Okay, come on me, come on me, yay. And then, oh wait, I like how I jacked this up completely. You're supposed to go over here on your iPad, and then stand, and then wait for you to hop up, and then turn around, and then stand on the pressure plate, up until you make it to the top, and then you're done. So hit play. Come on, me. Come on, stand up. There you go. Portal there. Thank you. And then now we need to bring the box back. Because there's a button right there that needs it. It's very finicky about what you put inside of it. So we put that in there. Oh. Now we get light bridge. Low on calories. And then back to another test chamber. So it's still it's still, you know, in the same vein as portal. Just Gladys isn't really here. I don't like that. It's a zero zero. Oh wait, I remember this now. Whee! So now we need a box, right? Okay, so now we go back. And then we're like, okay, a button. That's a really crummy looking uh And let's get the box. That sounds really a uh, old school, right? And then Oh yeah Look the Borealis! It didn't have a time-space continuum portaling accident. 
it just appeared or reappeared and it opens this hole and look there's what's her name and we hear two folks talking and the two folks is <gasps> it's Atlas and Peabody wonder why he's called Peabody is it because he's phallic shaped because I know he's based off a of turret I know Atlas is like a globe so he's like Atlas the world Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey! Hey! Come on! Hey! Listen! Listen! Come on! Come on! Hello? What time is it? Where'd my iPad go? Wait, I was trying to use my reference time to the- I lost my iPad! No! No! My my mother's gonna be so angry at me. She just bought me that iPad for Christmas, and and she'll never let me have any more. I, 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 she won't let me have another tablet ever again. So I walk through this door. Gladys emergency shutdown. Keep unlocked. Very comforting. <gasps> These robots are ghosts. They're Houdini. And so, hit the flashing keyboard. Everybody do the flop. Flat. And then fall. And now, bioluminescent piece of paper. Gladys, sauce. Find the time machine back to January 20, 21, 2359, 57. Now, if you didn't remember, my iPad said midnight. So it was literally about three seconds before I came from the start of the game. Anyway, now I can interact with this. Turn off that. Oh, wait, I want that on. Turn off the button. Open the door. There you go. See? If only it was easy. Using the action K. Which is E. 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 Sorry. So now we gotta work our way back down. Hopefully I'll find my iPad on the way back. Oh, is an iPad mini? I don't really have a good sense of scale when it comes to those damn things. Maybe they'll ship me a replacement one if I, if I talk to, to uh, Apple. If they gave me a crapple eye junk back, would they send it to me back in, an, uh, in a vanilla envelope? I mean, that's that's how you send your MacBook Air to re get, you know, refurbished and repaired, right? A vanilla envelope? I mean, that's that's why they designed to be fit in there, right? Uh, uh, that, that's just what I see. Level 2. So look, square hole. Lasers. And, oh no, a waist-high plexiglass fence. The horror. I guess we should put this on the border and that will stop them just as much as they have me. Oh wait! I have a portal. Or a time traveling iPad. And then stop. Hit play. Yay! Now hit the button. Assemble! Now you got special optic cubes. Then back through here. Then record again. And then hit stop. And then play. In a later level, am I gonna have to upgrade the iOS? I mean that 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 would be that'd be a challenge. Just trying to get trying to get iTunes to work here. I mean we are we are an aperture science laboratory. So you know what? I'm gonna use the old old fashioned way to get over this fence. See? Barring any type of damages I could po be possibly doing to space time continuum by, you know, abusing it in small spaces of time. I don't know. I'm not I'm not much of a of a time grasping individual. Don't talk to me about time travel. I don't I don't wanna know. Synchronized building It just leads me to believe that there was nothing meant to be in these boxes whatsoever. They're just meant to be Oh yeah, there's buttons down there. Now how do we get down there? Well, essentially we can't go through here obviously, because there are lasers and water. And unless I could you know, flatten myself to get thin enough to fit through there. I won't fit through there. I mean, Gladys does remark on how fat I am, so, you know. <laughs> She's so mean! Anyway, so record, go grab a cube, pick it up, put it down, pick this one up, put it down, and then pick this one up, then put it down, then I'm like a mover. Pick it up, drop. Pick it up and drop. Pick it up and drop. 
There you go. So now, we go down, hit play. Got something interesting for me? Open test me. Oh wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I still have to uh, deliver the boxes to myself. There you go. Now I'll start delivering them. Hello? Got another one? Who needs co-op when you can time travel? Forever alone mod for half or for a uh, portal. You have no friends, therefore you have to play with yourself. And I don't know if that would constitute as incest or masturbation. Nah, that's horrible. That's horrible. See, so this this time traveling device proves that you can be also you can also use it as a moving service. See, say goodbye to expensive movers. You can you can use your time traveling iPad app, and you can make it. You can make it. Now here's now here's a glaring issue with this one. See, there's that center room, and there's different aisles. Now there's the emancipation grills and those laser grids, which you don't want to cross. Now you need to hit you need to create something here, which requires that button press. And on the other side, oh yeah, emancipation grill on the floor, so don't drop anything. See, there's so there's a button over there, so I you can probably guess what you have to do. Damn, this playthrough is becoming a walkthrough. I'll let you know though. Once I get to a certain point, I'm uh, it's like unknown territory past a certain point. So, and then stand up. See, I'm thinking, why do I need? Why don't I have a step ladder? Well, I have myself. So see, this even this even does the job of a uh, of multi tool. Yay! See, multi tool. Not only can travel through time, you can help me move boxes, but you can also have a step ladder, which is yourself. If you're lonely and need a companion, you also have yourself. Sick, but true. So, pick this up, don't drop it, because it'll get destroyed, and it will be very, very sad. Record, pick up, and put it over here, and then kill it, and then put this back here, and then hopefully, it, uh, it works. It's all about the placement, because look, you appear, you pick it up, and you catch it. Then you put it down again. Then you hit record. Pick it up again. Carry it over here. Hand it over. Stop recording. Now this now this sucks because if you uh if you accidentally drop it the way I'm doing it, you're gonna have to go start all the way at the beginning because I didn't leave any provision for the time for the past me to bring the box back. I stop recording the moment it, it gets through this laser grid. There you go. So you're not I don't know. I don't know what's the uh, ruling on trying to interact with yourself while you are in a uh, while you're bending time. Pick up the laser, and so now laser's over there because it activated that pressure point or pressure pressure plate. And so record. Pick it up. Take it over here, and then hand it over. Stop recording. Put it back down, and then move over here. P -p -p play Give it to me. Give it to me. Yay. I'm surprised it doesn't reflect all those lasers on the wall over there. Record. Pick up. Carry. Walk over here. Then kill it. Oh no! Oh no. Wow. Really? 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 Really, really? Yes, uh, this mod also doesn't have a checkpoint system, so, um... That's... That's... That's nice. It does only a level basis, and you can't even, uh, as far as I can tell, you, you can't even chapter select, unless, I think you have to finish the game in order to, before you can chapter select, I have no idea, I mean, that's just, that's just what I'm assuming. The hell? Did I, did I, okay, record, stand, crouch, and then, uh, stand up, and then, uh, stop. Stand to the moon! Yeah, it gets a bit tedious when you when you fuck up a bunch of times because uh, you pretty much have no way of dealing with it. So uh, record, pick up, come over here, pass it through. Who cares anymore? It's gonna get rebuilt over there anyway. I mean, I've screwed this up a couple times when I first played it, and it was annoying because you know the the obvious glaring issues that happen to occur when you can't checkpoint stuff. So note to self, never just let it hit that wall, or uh, what do you call it, drop it. So 
so now, put back down there. The world flickers bit by bit. Then I hit uh, play. Carry it to me. And then, uh, oh, don't bring it over there. Bring it over here. Yay! Now I'm thinking with Time Machine. Then, um... For some reason, I just completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, record, pick up, move over here. Bring over here, and then stop it. Now I'll put you back down. Yeah, the floor of Emancipation br uh, Brills? Bear Grills. No, the floor of Emancipation Grills is a bit, uh, flighty and annoying at times, because it's like, it's a floor. It's like a sea. It's like an ocean. Then you put this down here. Then hit record. Pick you up. Then bring you over here. Then stop recording. Then put you back down. Then... Gonna run... Oh, cool. Two portals can fit there. Now put play. Pick you up. Come back over here, young lady. Sweet. Then move this over here. And then there. Now that's clear. Laser's off. I got a bridge. I got a bridge. Move along here. 